Hi, this time I'm reviewing a lithium-ion charger called the XTAR MC2S, which XTAR was nice enough to send me. Now this is a simple charger. It's really meant for traveling, I think, or for somebody that has basic charging needs. Everything's automatic in it, so you don't need to set anything. You just load the batteries and uh, wait till the green light tells you they're done. It uses a micro USB input for convenient uh, charging. The two slots each have up to one amp charging ability and it'll automatically set to charging speed depending on the battery uh, internal resistance. And it supports a wide range of sizes all the way from 10440s up to the larger 21700 format. Now I kind of like more bells and whistles on my chargers, or at least my main charger. So I wouldn't use this as a regular use charger, but they're great to have as a backup or for when you're traveling. The two slots, especially with one amp charging, is nice for traveling because it allows you to fairly quickly charge a couple of batteries without sitting around waiting for hours for them to finish. Well, like all day or all night. One amp is quick enough to fully charge an 18650 battery in about three to four hours, so it'll take you an evening to charge a couple of cells. It'll charge 14500 batteries, the smaller sizes, at a lower speed, so again, it, they'll probably take, you know, still about two or three hours to charge. Now, as you can guess, the interface is real easy. You just load a battery in there. The little light turns red when they're charging. And when the charging is finished, it'll turn green. Now, after waiting some time, you see here one of the cells has finished charging. They are charging independently, of course, so you can remove them when they're done. I did notice a little strange behavior when removing cells without unplugging the charger. The other slot seems to stop charging. So I would recommend when you're done charging, unplug the charger, um, and then if you still have charging to do with the other slot, plug it back in. Everything will start up fine. Now, uh, just measuring the voltage here for termination, and it actually does a full charge. This one measures up to 4.18, 4.19 volts. So that's uh, pretty close to 4.2, allowing for a little bit of voltage sag. That gives a full 100% charge of the battery. Now just to compare this to another charger that I have that I've used for traveling in the past, this other one is the MC1, which is a basic charger. It only charges up to 500 milliamps uh, for its speed and it just has one slot. It's You can see here the size is you know, fair, quite a bit larger. It's The MC2S obviously has two slots, so it's going to be a larger charger. And the charging speed of it is more convenient up to one amp for charging 18650 so it's a little larger for that i think of the two i think i actually prefer the two slot version it is a little larger but i like the fact it has one amp charging speed for the 18650s now here i'm just testing uh, 14500 uh, batteries they're the lithium ions as well as the AA uh, nickel metal hydride form which it shouldn't support so the the 14500s obviously they charge fine now, I just noticed another oddity with the charger, and that is when I put in a nickel metal hydride battery, it does show it as charging. Now, this charger doesn't support them, so you shouldn't be using it, but just be aware that um, you shouldn't be charging the end loops or nickel metal hydride with this charger. I suspect what it's doing is that it's running some kind of test phase on it to determine whether this is just a low voltage lithium ion or not. It does do zero volt recovery, so I suspect that is what it's doing. All right, things I like about this charger is that it's small and simple. It has up to one amp charging on both slots, and it has a wide range of safety features. As far as the cons go, other than those couple of quirks, just don't expect a lot. It's a simple charger. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.